So our agenda points are that we're going to go over quickly about action, who we are, then we're going to go into an introduction to who Act who Acumatica itself and the product, go into a product demonstration, do a quick Q&A session, and then we're going to wrap up. But with that being said, uh, who we are as Action as a whole, we are 200 employees strong here at Action. We have 5,000 plus customers. We're a national software reseller and IT infrastructure provider focused on the construction, distribution, and manufacturing industries. And we also have two company-owned geo-redundant data centers. One located in Maumee, Ohio, which is about a half hour south of Toledo, Ohio. And then we also have another location, which is in uh, North Carolina. So that's in the Charlotte area. So as you can see our office locations, we do also have a West office, which is in the Glendale, Arizona, which is right outside of Phoenix. And then the last location that we have that's our brick and mortar location is going to be our New York office. So that's actually located in Ronkakuma, New York. So that's uh, right outside the city. But with that being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and pass things over to Tim here. So, Tim, whenever you're ready, please feel free to get started. Thanks, Jared. Can you hear me okay? I can. Excellent. So, I'm going to hit a few slides, and then we'll jump into a product demo. So, first point here on this slide is that connected business is more than just digital. And one thing I like about Acumatica is not that it's just great software, which it is, and I hope to show you that in this demo but it's also got some of the best minds in the ERP space working at the Acumatica company doing various things, not just the software. And, and uh, when you partner with a software company, I think it's really important to keep that in mind. And we really believe uh, that Acumatica is a great product. It's a best path for transforming your business to thrive in the new digital economy. I think we're all realizing, especially with this coronavirus, being digital is very important and companies that have led the curve there are not suffering as much with the virus because they're able to work more remotely but there are any number of things hurricanes etc that can disrupt business and the more digital you are the more you're able to continue the business uh, when those disruptions occur i'm going to show you just a, a brief demo today of the acumatica product i'm really just barely scratching the surface, and I'll, I'll come back to this point at the end, but this, the Acumatica was built on a modern platform architecture, and it, it's hard to explain why that matters in the short amount of time that we have today, but it's a big differentiator between Acumatica and the other products that are out there. It was built from scratch starting around 2008. It's not some new technology layered on top of old technology. It's brand new, built from scratch. And I hope to highlight a few things in the demo today to show, show you where you can see that. But just know that under the hood, you've got a very modern ERP application. There's a number of awards that Acumatica has won the last several years. My recommendation is just go out to Google and Google Acumatica. ACU, uh, one C there, some people used to. Just Google Acumatica and you'll see they've won a ton of awards at the last few years. These are just some of the highlights. And one in particular on this next slide that we like to highlight is from Nucleus Research, and it's a focus on usability. Uh, it's great that Acumatica's got a lot of features, a lot of ERP systems do, but I think you'll find when you see the, the demo here shortly, that it's also a very user-friendly experience for your users with a nice user interface. And you can see how well Acumatica scores on this rankings based on usability. They're right up on the top there in the leader area. And we find that that makes a big difference when you have employee turnover, when you're training new people. Uh, it's nice to have a, a system that ranks very well from a usability standpoint. Because Acumatica built from scratch on modern technology, you're gonna find that it just works with a web browser. That's all you need. There's no client software. So that means it's gonna work fine on your computer, on your tablet, on your phone. Uh, there's even a native mobile app that you could use. And there are some advantages to using a, a native mobile app for things like watches and, and uh, phones when you wanna access the camera or the GPS location. So there's the browser, there's also the mobile app, 
And then Acumatica has done a ton of integrations to other modern pieces of technology. You can see there's Amazon Alexa there, and there's um, a lot of other very interesting use cases to incorporate other pieces of technology uh, into your Acumatica ERP system. This next slide is, was a really important one for us at Action. We like to provide our customers with choices. And, and this is also another differentiator between Acumatica and a lot of the other uh, browser-based solutions out there. Acumatica does not force you to go with what's called a SaaS offering, where you're purely renting the software. And they also force you to deploy on their own data centers, but you can, and that is the most popular option. You can see that's the first one on the left. They deploy in Amazon's AWS cloud, but you can also still rent the software, but deploy it in your own private cloud, wherever that might be. And then the third option, you could even purchase the software and deploy it on premises. So we, we really like that Acumatica gives you these flexible deployment options. Another differentiator about Acumatica from a licensing standpoint is they actually don't license based on number of users. They do it based on your transaction volume. And we find this is great, especially for growing businesses, businesses with larger teams, where you don't want to get penalized for getting people into the system, especially when they're just logging in to look at information. So with Acumatica, you're not licensed based on users and that allows you to add as many people as you want into the system so that everyone truly is seeing that one version of the truth. All right, so that's it for my slides. Let's go ahead and flip over now into a product demonstration. Let me get my environment up here. So what you should be seeing on the screen is a dashboard in Acumatica, and because it runs uh, just using a web browser, I'm using Firefox in this case, but you could use any major browser on any device. And let's take a little tour, first of all, of the menu. So on the left-hand side, you'll see these are the modules, or Acumatica calls these workspaces. And if I were to click into maybe sales orders, for example, you can see it's got a nice flat design. So I'm not having to click multiple times to drill down and find the screen that I'm looking for. I click once into the workspace. I still have these nice headings on the top, transactions, inquiries, etc. So my eye can see the categories that the screens are arranged in, but I don't have to click into those categories. I can just go right into the screen that I'm looking for. A nice flat design there. You can see you can also star screens. Some people don't even go into the various workspaces, they just one time go through, they star the screens that they care about, and then they come up here to their favorites, and they access all of those starred screens just in that one favorites workspace on the top. Continuing our tour across the top, the Acumatica logo, that clicking that takes you back to your home page. You can set your home page to whatever you'd like. You can see I have mine as a dashboard. That's the first thing you'll see when you log in. We find most people set it to a dashboard, but you can set it to any screen in the system. And you can also change this logo to be your own company logo. You can even change the colors to be your, your own branded colors. Uh, you have the ability to do that. Moving across the top, we've got what's called the universal search. And I personally find myself using this quite a bit because it allows you to search multiple things. So let's say, for example, I search for vendor. And you'll see right away the first thing it does is it filters down the list of screens to only show me screens with the word vendor in it. But then I can keep typing, and I don't even have to type a full word. I can just type in tail, for example. And it finds any screen that has vendor and tail in the name. So in this case, vendor details. And it even shows me where it's the opposite order uh, for this one, details by vendor. So I find myself using that a lot. Um, you can either browse to the workspaces or just search on the top for the screens. But you can see across the top here, I'm not only limited to screens. 
I might search for home page. And you can see I don't have any screens called home page, but I can come over here to help topics. And if you're wondering how to set your home page, there's a help article right there. The whole help engine in Acumatica is built using something called wikis. So if you've ever used Wikipedia or Microsoft SharePoint uses wikis a lot, they're basically a way for you to create pages without having to know computer code. And because the entire Acumatica help system is built with wikis, you can actually make changes to any of the help articles if you'd like to incorporate things like your, your own company's policies and procedures and put it right into the help articles or create your own help library. Uh, it's, it's fully editable as a wiki-based help system. I can also search file attachments. So let's say I search for the word ball and I come over here to files. There's a whole document management engine built into Acumatica. And I'll show you an example of that, but you can attach files to pretty much anything in the system, both at the header level and at the line level. You'll see I'm now right in the universal search, searching across all of those different file attachments. And this is a full document management engine allowing you to uh, do things like track versions of files. You could upload multiple versions and have a current version. You can do security on the files. And then it is attaching the entire file, whether it's an Excel file, PDF file, whatever it might be. It's not just storing a link to the file. And here's a, a big one right now with the coronavirus that if you've done this and gone paperless in your organization, uh, your, your work is not as disrupted working from home because you have access not just to all your data, but to all your documents as well. No more file cabinet if you're utilizing this document management engine. And then let's do one more thing here. I'm going to search for 5176, and that's this last button here. On transactions or profiles, I can actually search across the system for maybe a customer name, or in this case, a transaction number. You can see I've got an invoice that's 5176. I've also got a sales order. I might have a journal entry. If I know the number, I can just type it in on the top and it will search all those transactions. Just another way to navigate. And I, I hope you're seeing here these different ways, seeing the nice flat design on the workspace, the universal search up on the top, the ability to do favorites, why Acumatica scores well uh, from the usability standpoint. Now, another thing, small thing, I think, from a technology standpoint, but for me, from a usability standpoint, big thing, just because of the fact that I'm 100% in a web browser here, I can open things in multiple tabs. And I find that's a big deal uh, compared to a Windows-based application. If I were to open this now in a new tab, you'll see up on the top of my web browser, I've now got two tabs open. And this is just the nature of a web browser. It's not really an Acumatica feature, but just because it's in a web browser, I can have as many tabs open as I'd like, I could drag tags, uh, tabs onto my other monitor to look at something there. I can pop out like I did right here. I never left the screen I was on. Pop out, go look at something, close the tab, and I'm right back where I, where I originated from. And from the, I find from a usability standpoint, doing, being able to do multiple tabs like that uh, is really nice. So now, right now what we're looking at is a sales order data entry screen. And you can see, just like you would expect for a sales order, I'm going to have my order number, my customer ID, totals, the items on that sales order. And what I want to point out, first of all, is that notice first up on the top, things are organized in three columns. Now, being a browser-based modern web application, Acumatica is going to respond to both your screen size and your zoom level. So you might find that you want the font to be larger. If I were to zoom in, you'll notice everything is getting larger. The font on, across all the areas is getting larger. And if I zoom in far enough, it even responds to say, okay, well, I can't display three columns anymore. So I'm now going to change this down to two columns, but I'm still showing you the same information. So it is very responsive, just like you would expect from a modern web application. 
and it also responds to your screen size. So if I were to take this and drag this over to the right, you'll see that uh, it's, it's again down into two columns. So if I take it further, it goes down to one column. So this might be what things look like on your phone. As I expand this out, this might be what Acumatica looks like on your tablet. You'll see even the, the workspaces collapse down to only show you the icons rather than the names. And as I expand this out to the right, everything keeps responding. You see now my workspaces have the words and it's responding as I'm dragging. So just like you would expect from a modern web application, it responds to your device. All right, so next I want to point out um, a couple of things. We've got the notes button up here, so I can add a note to a document. Maybe I'll do a header note here. You'll be able to do this throughout the system. I'm just showing it to you on a sales order. There's a header note. I can click down here and add a line note. Now this is a note for just one of the lines on the sales order. And uh, I've got the ability to do that throughout the application. Then I've also got the file attachments that we were searching earlier. I can see right now with this files button, there's no number after it. So I know I don't have any files. But if I were to come over here and drag the sales quote, for example, just drag it right onto the screen. That will attach the file, and I can see now that I have one file attachment. I could click in here, and here's where that whole document management engine is being used. It actually attaches the file. It allows me to do file versioning and security, and I'd be able to go in here and see all the files. I could attach as many as I'd like uh, to the transaction. It would show me a count of the files. In this case, I only have one right next to it. And I can also attach documents to the line level down here as well. So if you just think about this, having this throughout the application, whether it's on an accounts payable invoice, my recommendation is always to go ahead and scan those in, maybe just as a PDF and attach them. Uh, it might even be a journal entry backup or purchase order, whatever it is, you'll be able to attach files at both the header level and at the line level. Another thing you get throughout the system is activity tracking. This is pretty unique to Acumatica. There is a full-blown CRM module right inside the system. It's not a separate application. But even if you don't license the CRM module, you still get activity tracking throughout the ERP system, which I think is pretty unique. I could track things like phone calls, uh, meetings, uh, that CRM type of activity tracking on the sales order or on a customer. I could even do it where it might not make sense on a journal entry or probably makes more sense on a customer invoice, maybe logging a past due phone call and then be able to see at the customer level activities that were logged on the order by salespeople, on the invoice by uh, people in accounting. And all of that's available without even licensing the CRM module. So I think that's pretty unique about Acumatica. And right now you'll notice that my activities button is, doesn't have a number after it, so there's no activities. Another thing that happens is, let's go ahead and take and print the sales order. I'm gonna come back to activities in a minute. But I've now got a printed version of the sales order. And every report, including all the printed forms like sales orders, purchase orders, accounts payable checks, they're all designed with a native form designer called Report Designer. It's a native Acumatic application built into the system, and that allows you to change any of the reports, including forms like you're looking at here. So you'll be able to move labels around, add data that's not there, change logos, do whatever you need to do using that report designer application. And so I, I've mentioned a couple times this word engine. It's a, the best word I can come up to come up with to describe these. But I, I, I consider this like a, an engine in that I've got this report designer engine, I've got the document management engine, and I've also got the email engine, these things that you're going to see throughout the application where I can take a report and use this send button to send an email right from Acumatica. And the advantage of doing this is I don't have to export it to my desktop, open up Outlook, type in an email address. I've got a pre-canned email message that I can still come in here and change. I could change who it's going to or add an additional CC 
but it's got a nice pre-formatted template. It even attaches the file automatically. So with just a couple of clicks, I'm able to send that right from the system without having to go out to Outlook. And when I do that, coming back to the activities, I go back to the sales order here, and you can see now that Acumatica automatically attached an activity. So I could come back in here six months later, and I will know that I sent an email to the customer in this case on March 27th. I'll also have the ability to pull up that email, know exactly who it was sent to, what the email looked like, and even come in to see the file attachment and see the sales order at that point in time. Maybe I've changed pricing or added lines since then, but I know what it looked like at that point in time. And I find this is more relevant on a purchase order, but again, I'm showing you features that you're gonna see throughout the application. You can use it on a purchase order as well or other places, um, but I'm just showing it to you here on a sales order. All right, so that's what I like calling the email engine. I'll hit you with one more engine here. I'm gonna close down this tab and we're right back where we started on my home page, and I'm looking at a dashboard. I also like calling this an engine, the dashboard engine, because Acumatica doesn't just come with pre-canned dashboards. Everyone's got dashboards, but a lot of times it's whatever, you, whatever they are, that's the way they are, and if you wanna change them, you have to hire a computer programmer. Well, with Acumatica, you have full flexibility to change dashboards, create your own dashboards without writing any code. And they're also interactive. So if I were to take the sales activities widget down here and click on Steve Church, for example, when I hover over, it shows me I have 33 sales activities, but I can click on this, it opens another tab, and it drills me down. Now I'm looking at those 33 records here. And what you're seeing right here is called an inquiry. Inquiries are very flexible. I can drag columns around. I can filter and sort on any column. And inquiries are the foundation of dashboards. So I can actually go in and edit inquiries or create my own to give me the foundation for the dashboard. Then I go back and I put the dashboard layer on top of it. So I do all of that without writing any code. So it gives you not just pre-canned dashboards, but what I like to call a dashboard engine to be able to make the dashboards that are unique to your business and put that information that you need at your fingertips. And to just show you one more thing on dashboards, just to show you that at the dashboard level, they're also configurable. I can go to design mode here. I'll come down to this key customer growth widget. And maybe I want to use the configure button. And let's change this from a stacked column to, let's use a line chart. And click OK, click Finish, and you'll see that now refreshes, and I'm now looking at a line chart. A few clicks of a button, I'm modifying the dashboard, and I could even scroll down and add additional widgets. You can add as many as I like, keep scrolling down, and I'm building my own dashboard, not just having pre-canned dashboards like everyone has. Another thing I like to show from a reporting standpoint are pivot tables that are built into the system. So let's take the sales orders. We were looking at sales activities before. Here's another inquiry. And what you can do when you're on an inquiry is you can come up here to the ellipsis and you can do save as pivot. And maybe let's do one, let's call this uh, sales per month. Now, I could have taken the inquiry to Excel using this export to Excel icon, and then I could have done a pivot table there. But I really like that you don't even have to leave Acumatica, and you can still do a pivot table inside the system. So I can drag maybe the date on here, and then maybe I'll drag the, uh, let's pick the customer, maybe customer name. Uh, let's total up the order total, and just make it, make it interesting. I'll put the salesperson on the columns. And let's see, let's go ahead and do a couple of settings here. We'll collapse these. We'll summarize this by month. And you can see real quickly, I created a pivot table. I click this gear icon to come back and look at it. And now I've got a nice summarized view of that data by month. And I can expand this out and see the customers and the totals by month. 
and I'm not just looking at sales totals and looking at it by salesperson. My salesperson codes are not that interesting here, but uh, it is giving me a total by salesperson. And then I also have hyperlinks on all these, so I could click on these and drill down to the detail behind them. And I never left my inquiry. This is where I started on the All Records tab. This is the detailed data, but really easily you can see I can add a pivot table to any inquiry I like and get a nice quick summary of that information. Now I'll just wrap up with two more things in this demo here. Let's come over here to the Finance module. And let's come down and take a look at the year-to-date budget report. Let's take a look at what this report looks like. So the out-of-the-box reports, including the forms, like the sales order we looked at earlier, those are all designed using an application called Report Designer. It's a native Acumatica form designer. You can create your own reports, modify any of the existing ones. When it comes to financial reports, there's another application that's built into the system, another native application. If you've used a financial report writer like FRX uh, in the past, this is very similar. And the important thing to know is that you can build pretty much any financial statement you can think about. Here we're looking at year-to-date actuals versus budget year-to-date, but I can change this to be quarterly numbers, uh, rolling 12 months. I have full flexibility to design the financial reports that I need. And I also get that drill down functionality here. So maybe I want to drill down on the $6,000 travel expense. Let's go ahead and click there. And then maybe we'll drill further into this line. Now I'm looking at a list of individual transactions. And I might want to drill all the way down to the transaction. I can see in this case, this was a $475 AP bill. But this one's also got a file attachment. So if I use the document management engine to attach files to my AP bills, I can drill all the way to an image of that invoice, or in this case, one of my expenses from back in the fall, back when I was allowed to go to airports. And I think what's really cool here is I went, if you look up on the top, I went all the way from the financial statement with one, two, three, four clicks, and I got all the way down to an actual document image. And if you think about the power of being able to do this on any device, I could have been doing this on my tablet or on my computer. It's up to me. So that's your financial report. And then I'll just touch on one last thing. It's hard to hit. Uh, uh, so there's so many different features. I'm just brushing the surface, taking a broad stroke here. The last thing I'll mention, let's pull up a vendor record, for example. Uh, when it comes to security, Acumatica does both field security, or I'm sorry, screen security, which most people have. I can decide, do I have access to the screen? Is it view only? Can I change things? Can I create things? But I also get field level security. So I could actually go in here and I could give purchasing people the ability to modify data on the purchase settings tab. You literally go field by field and set the security if you want to go to that level of detail. And then maybe I only allow accounts payable people to modify these fields. You have full flexibility at both the screen level, at the field level, and you can even go to the row level. And in this case, being able to decide what specific vendors someone is able to see in the system. So I know that's a quick tour, but pulling it back out to the, the power of this platform, I'm just trying to highlight some of the things that you'll see throughout the application. One thing I did not mention yet is, uh, or did not talk too much about, is the mobile. Just want to mention that again. There is a full mobile app available. I mentioned various engines as well. And there's also a ton of customization capability. You can modify pretty much anything in the system. Uh, in including a lot of this low-code, no-code type of functionality where you don't even have to be a developer to modify it. Don't really have time to show that today, but it's, a, it's an exciting and fun platform to work with, Acumatica being modern, being web-based, and, um, and uh, just being something that's, that was built with ERP and CRM in the very core from the very beginning. 
So with that, I think I'll pull back here to the slides and hand it back over to you, Jared, for questions. Awesome. Thank you, Tim. Uh, looks like I see uh, one question in the queue so far. Uh, looks like they were asking more or less about uh, being able to restrict privileges for a user. Yes, yeah, so I did. It was did that come in just now after that little security talk, or did that come in earlier? Earlier. So hopefully that little security talk uh, hit that point. I guess I'll say a little more on that. And that security is role based, like you'll find in most systems. You assign security to the roles, and you assign the roles to the users. So that screen level, that field level, even that row level security is all defined. Um, uh, on a role basis, and then you assign the roles to the users. Okay, uh, that's the only question I see so far. Um, we're going to keep it open for questions here for a second, but while we're waiting for more questions to come in, um, Tim, if you want to go ahead and go over the next slide. If you'd like more information, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. My contact information is up there for you. So my email address is jgator, spelled J G A. T-E-R at action with a K, spelled A-K-T-I-O-N dot com. Send me an email. I can um, get you in contact with who you need to talk to and go forward from there. Uh, like Tim said, though, this is a, a very quick introduction to Acumatica itself. If you'd like to do more of a deeper dive, I'm more than happy to get you set up for an appointment for that. Uh, if you would like a copy of the recording, though, please feel free to reach out to me as well. So like I said, my email address is up there. You can give me a call if you'd like to as well. Uh, but with that being said, let me check the queue one last time, see if I had any other questions come in. I don't see any other questions at this time, Tim. Uh, do you have any final remarks? I guess I'll just remark that, you know, I've, I've been around the ERP space for a while, worked with a number of different products. I find there's a, a lot of products out there. A lot of them are from the 1980s, 1990s. And there's just so many things that I found with Acumatica. I didn't even think about coming into it. It's just a huge advantage to being on a modern solution and it's been a lot of fun for me the last few years uh, working with the product. So I'll close with that. All right. Thank you, Tim. Um, again, thank you everybody for joining today's session. I really hope that you found value in it. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.